weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. And let's get you right to that Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network because we have had an active past couple of hours in parts of our area. Many of you in North Alabama have been dry so far this evening, but you cross the border into Tennessee and we have had uh, increasing showers and even a couple of storms developing uh, in recent hours. I do want to start out in northwest Alabama here where showers are developing uh, near Colbert County, Franklin County, as well. These are drifting west to east and are probably going to become a little bit more widespread as we move through the next couple of hours. So these will likely move into Lawrence County pretty soon. Down the line, Morgan County and perhaps parts of Madison County could see some of these showers uh, as they likely are expected to expand in coverage over the next few hours. In Madison County, we've had a couple of showers very close to the uh, Hazel Green area, just north of there is where most of the rain is falling up Highway 231 into Fayetteville in Lincoln County, where most most of the county is seeing rain at the moment. Same story for Franklin County, Tennessee, back toward Giles County in Tennessee as well. And it's going to be this southern middle Tennessee area that gets the bulk of the heaviest rain uh, for the rest of the night tonight. Here's our situation. We have a cold front approaching from the north that's helped kick off these showers and a couple of storms this evening. This is going to continue to push southward. And as it does that, any showers we have right now will likely push to the south and east overnight tonight. And then a stationary boundary is almost going to lift back north a little bit during the day Tuesday, giving us another chance at a few showers during the daytime on Tuesday as well. Here's what that looks like locally in North Alabama. Again, our best chance at showers and a few storms will be between right now and probably two o'clock in the morning. As that front continues to encroach on North Alabama, we'll see that rain clear to the south and to the east late tonight. And when you start the day on Tuesday, most of us are likely going to be dry. If anyone does see rain, it's going to be our southern tier of counties, maybe around Coleman and Blunt counties is where that will be most likely. Now, as that front retreats back north, we could see showers redevelop in parts of North Alabama late tomorrow morning through the afternoon. Those look to be pretty isolated. So bottom line is most of us will likely be dry during the day tomorrow. And if you do happen to get rain, it's probably going to be a pretty brief and shouldn't ruin your outdoor plans if you do have them. Let's look ahead to Wednesday because there is a level one risk for severe weather just to our west in North Mississippi all the way back to Texas. This does not look like a substantial severe weather maker, but the storms that are likely in those areas will be heading our way on Wednesday night. Night. The good news is they're going to move so far away from the cold front that whatever's left is probably going to be on the weak side. It may just be showers Wednesday night into Thursday morning later on this week. Good news this week in general, likely not going to see any severe weather. Overnight lows very warm tonight for this time of the year in the upper 50s. We are going to stay put in the 60s virtually all day long tomorrow. Briefly expected to climb to about 70 degrees in Huntsville on Tuesday afternoon. 71 in Scottsboro. Forecast high in Athens is 69 degrees. We continue to trend warmer the next several days. Mid to upper 70s expected on Wednesday. And Thursday is going to be the hottest day of this week. And I think hot is an appropriate word with 80s in the forecast across all of North Alabama. 80 in Gunnersville, up to 83 in Decatur and 84 in Moulton. For some perspective, this is going to be near record territory for this time of the year. 77 is the record high for Wednesday. 83 is the record high not only for Thursday, but for the entire month of February. That is the warmest temperature on record for Huntsville, and we are forecast to match that. This would also be one of the earliest 80 degree days on the calendar on record for Huntsville if that does occur on Thursday. We will cool back down to the 50s on Friday. Continued rain chances all the way through the weekend and into early next week. Spring-like temperatures in the 60s expected this weekend as well.